Well, it looks like the emergency manager will get there before I get a chance at it, but if I were sitting in Kevin Orr's spot, you look at this and you have in very rough terms, if you take away the water department debt, which I don't believe ought to be included in this conversation, about $2 billion in pension, about $2 billion in bonds to bondholders, and about $6 billion in retiree health. Uh, and so to restructure the bond payments makes great sense. Uh, the pensions are constitutionally protected and in my mind should not be touched. Uh, but I believe you can dramatically cut that $6 billion uh, bill for retiree health. Uh, I come out of the healthcare industry uh, and where DMC had significant success at managing people with chronic diseases, which is where your big health care costs are. You manage people with heart failure, diabetes, pulmonary disease in ways to keep them well and keep them out of the hospital. Uh, that's not being done today, and that's costing a huge amount of money. And then the Affordable Care Act, so-called Obamacare, has real opportunities to move uh, our retirees onto exchanges at significantly lower cost of the city. And it's something I could think we could sit down with the unions and negotiate and come to an agreement that works for both of us.